Hello and welcome to Tenerife South Airport. If you're coming to Tenerife on holiday, well, once you've got your baggage, you'll be heading straight through and ready to start your holiday. So let Mr. Travel On let you know what it's like at the Tenerife South Airport when you arrive and give you some hints and tips on how you can get to resort and show you everything you're gonna be expecting. Let's go and start your holiday with Travel On World. Come on, let's go. So you might come through arrivals A or B and uh, well you've either got a tour operator with a transfer or you've hired a car or you're making your own way or you're getting a taxi and if you've hired a car look lots of queues always queues at the car hire place now we booked with Synasty uh, really really simple went online they sent us a quote we ordered it booked it keys are waiting for us they've told us where they are cars waiting for us and that's it, no queuing, straight off. We know exactly where we're going. We're gonna hop in that car and head into resort. But whatever you've got booked, this is what you do. So like I said, you'll come through arrivals A or B, depending on where you land and which tour operator look. But you can see, tour operator reps are waiting for you. Tui, Jet2, they're all here. And let's do this bit first, look. This is if you've got a transfer with one of the tour operators and if you've got a car hire as well it's just over the road which we'll show you in a minute but look at that look at the sun oh the smell the sun hits you you're excited you're going to be a little bit stressed but don't you worry about a thing and this is where all the buses are look so your tour operators will tell you which bay number they're in so if you book the transfer with one of your tour operators, they will tell you that. If you want to get the local bus look, it's in Bay 30, 31, 32, 33 and 34, I think. And I'll show you what the local bus looks like. Very popular look. They're green, they're called Titsa. And this is where you get them look. Very popular, very cheap way to get the bus. That one's going to Santa Cruz look. And there's a little sort of map here which shows you everywhere they go. But you can have a look online and get yourself organized beforehand. Maybe I'll do a video to show you. So that was tour operators and where the tour operator buses are and the local bus. But what if you want to get a taxi? Well, before I go and get my car from Sanasti, which is just in the car park opposite, I'm going to show you that in a minute. Uh, let's go and show you where the taxis are because they're just up here out the door. So here we go, this is where you get the taxis. You come out of this door here. So instead of turning out where I turned, where the tour operators are, you come out here, look. So it's just by arrivals. And there's a little ramp there. You pull your case up here and you're rocking and rolling, aren't you? And this is the taxis. Now, usually there's quite a long queue for the taxis. They are very organized and there's plenty of them, but sometimes you do have to wait. Now you can see they're sort of zigzagging, sort of barriers and stuff, where they sort of let the flow of traffic of people go through. So at the moment, not too many people waiting, but peak season <laughs> is a different story. So there we go, look few people waiting for taxis here the guys are organizing everything so we can go quite far up that way so you might be better off booking a transfer or hiring a car for sure and hiring a car gives you a bit of freedom as well and talking of cars well I've shown you where to get the bus where to get your transfer where to get the taxi now I've got to go and get my own car and start my adventure in Tenerife so come on I'll take you and show you where you get your car from, if you've hired one. So here we go, car hire this way. And we'll be heading straight down here. Now, Sanasti told me my car is in Bay 3B. They've told me where the keys are. They've told me where everything is. And all I have to do is get in it. So come on. But it shows you here, look, where all your car hire places are. It's all, it's all signposted, it's all in English, 
you're not going to struggle. Just be careful across the zebra crossings as well, because I know what happens when you come on holiday. You tend to leave your brains on the plane sometimes because you're so excited. So if like me, you book with Sanasti Car Hire, well, you go to the normal car park, which is this way. So 3B is actually the public car park, and that's where our car is going to be because we don't have to mess around with offices and filling out forms and papers and things like that. We are literally heading straight there. Come on, let's go find it. So you can see just how many car hire companies there are. And it is like navigating quite a lot. I mean, not only do you arrive and have the long queues to wait in, then you have to fill out all your forms. Then they're more than likely going to try and upsell you with all sorts of sort of extra insurance and and things like that i mean traveling in itself is stressful i find and the last thing you want when you come on holiday is stress do you it's a volkswagen tiago i think the number the registration started was 1938 so let's go find our car for our adventure in tenerife come on this looks like us Lovely. So we received an email with the exact location of the car, where the keys are, where the contract is, where everything is. So you don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do is come and pick the car up. But Mr. Travelon is gonna give you some top tips on car hire, whether it be car hire in Tenerife or anywhere. And this is what you do. Now the insurance with Sinasti is all included as well. So you've not got too much to worry about, but whatever car you hire and whatever company that you go with, always just give it a little check round. You've all got mobile phones. We're in the world of mobile mobile phones take a little video I mean this one looks absolutely perfect doesn't it I can't see a mark at all or well, some cars um, and car hire companies you can have sort of slight dents and scratches so it's really important that you check everything before you leave so that you've got record time date stamps of when you checked it so you, they know that you didn't put that mark on because they could charge you for it so let's get the boot open wow spotlessly clean it's got what i like about a car hire is sometimes you get cars and they're like really battered and horrible but this one as soon as i open that boot has got that sort of new car smell i do like that when you come on holiday it just makes it better doesn't it right bags are in let's go okay look at this it is spotlessly clean look absolutely beautiful and all sort of electric look with the uh, beautiful screen there oh look at that look at that there you go we've even got a bit of music on look at that these are new cars which is fantastic now i've had cars before from other sort of big car hire companies and they're quite old this is brand spanking look all digital it's more advanced than mine back home so sanasti said everything will be in the visor which if you're a workman back home, well, you know you stick all your receipts in there, don't you? <laughs> and you've also got the car park to get out of the car park. Now, if you hire with another company, obviously you don't have to pay the car park, but with Sanasti being an independent company, well, they park in the, in the local car park, so you do have to pay. And I'll show you how much it is. It's next to nothing anyway. And to be honest, the time that you save and the hassle that you're gonna save is gonna be worth the price. Let's go and get out of here and I'll show you how much it cost. So I was gonna head off and I thought, hang on a minute, I am Mr. Travel On, I'm full of tips and information. And I think the more sensible thing to do is actually go and pay for the car parking first because you know what happens in any car park. You have them people that haven't paid their ticket and they're holding up the traffic. And that's the last type of person I wanna be. And do you know where you have to pay? Well, literally right next door to where the car is parked just here i think here we go look just over here look pay for your car parking we were in 3b this is in number one so it's just two bays down four euros 20 so that's not too bad at all compared to the uk car park is it and like i said the amount of time we've saved is definitely worth that investment now you can pay cash i would suggest having some cash with you some coins or notes they do take notes as well and you can pay card as well so you can pay card on this occasion i'm going to pay card and i think that is all done there's my ticket and i think that's it so with ticket in hand or ticket in mouth let's get going so i'll put my ticket back in case i lose it on the way to the exit always be prepared and listen to that oh 
the purr, the purr. Well, there's very little noise at all, is there? Silence. Right, let's go. So here we go. This is certainly more advanced than Mr. Travelon's wagon back home, look. You've got all the uh, reversing, tells you absolutely everything, video. I'll be honest with you, first time I've driven a car with this feature. I quite like it. I might just park the car up and have a nose at what people are doing as they walk past me. But come on, look, someone's waiting for us. Let's get out of here. Right then, before we get onto the TF1, a little top tip, our tank is full, but there is a petrol station right here. Now I am sweating, I thought, bloody hell, it's seriously hot here. And then I actually looked and realized I didn't have the air con on. So we're fully air conditioned. Oh, and it's powerful and it's cold, but this is an ideal little pit stop before you head off, grab yourself some water and grab yourself some snacks because well, you don't know when the next one's going to be, and I'm sure everyone will need something. So I'm going to park here and get myself a bottle of posh water. So these petrol stations will actually do everything. They're really good, actually. They do loads of stuff. You've got crisp snacks, water. And I, I tell you what, I am thirsty. And I'm going to get a big bottle of water for one euro and five cents. That'll keep me going, won't it? There you go, water in hand. Now we can get onto the TF1 and get going. But another little thought I had, some of the car hire companies, I've hired cars before, that actually leave you on sort of an empty or almost empty tank and just say, bring it back empty. I'd rather have a full tank and bring that back full rather than an empty one because you're gonna have to stop off here and fill up anyway. But if you do need to do that, well, you know, it's just out the car park and you just pull in and straight into the Diza petrol station. Let's go. So what things can you do if you hire a car? Well, it's ideal to get yourself out and about. You've got that freedom. You can get yourself out to all the different resorts. If you want to drive along the coastline, diff different beaches, different places, different little villages, it's perfect. You can also drive up to Mount Tady. Now, don't get me wrong, Mount Tady is a beautiful drive. And as you know, Mr. Travel On sells all the tours and excursions up to Mount Tady. Now, would I drive up to Mount Tady if I was on holiday? Yes, possibly, but I'm used to driving abroad. Um, the thing that I find about driving abroad and not doing a tour with a guide is this. And there's two things. One is, I'm driving now and all I'm doing is I am focused on the road ahead. I'm focused on where I need to go, what I need to do. Now, when you've got a Mrs. Travel on next to you going, oh, that looks nice, oh, look at that, oh, look at that. As the driver, will you miss out on all that? So in my opinion and my advice, I would book a tour up to Mount Tady. You can do half day tours that will take you up there. And then at least you'll get to see all the amazing sights and you'll get to experience Mount Tady with a guide who can tell you everything that you're looking at as well. Because that's another thing about driving abroad and seeing all the different sort of um, places to see. Especially if you're driving or a passenger, you don't actually officially know what you're looking at, do you? You might be looking at something that just looks like a normal rock. And uh, it could be a very famous rock. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be my advice definitely drive up and um, like to go and see the sunset and things like that but if you want to do Mount Tady I would certainly book a tour go and see Mount Tady so you can see get the history of it and get your bearings as well and then you can always drive back up you've got the car you know by hiring a car you've got complete independence you can go anywhere and it is a great thing to do so here we are we've arrived sort of Las Americas, Los Cristianos way. I don't actually know where we are. I think I came off at the turn for Las Americas. I'm not far from the famous Siam Park. So I'm just showing you here, look, Costa Adeki is that way. Las Americas is this way and Los Cristianos is this way also. Well, I'm back. I've had the car for a couple of days and I thought I'd let you know how I'm getting on. I've just stopped at the petrol station to get myself a bottle of posh water and I'm actually on the way to the Sanasti office. Now, the reason I'm going there is when you get the email with the confirmation of the car, well, you can pay there and then if you want to and you want to get everything done. You can pay online, send the, send the payment through or you can actually pay when you get in to resort 
which I thought was quite good because if you sort of budget in your holiday, you know, you've just spent a large chunk on the holiday, you want to know exactly how much cash you've got. Maybe you'd want to pay in cash, uh, maybe you don't want to use card. Well, you've got that option. And the Sanasti office is only in Los Cristianos, so it's not far from me. So I've got the Google Maps up, which by the way, is not too bad. It does send you in a few different directions when you're driving around, so you're best off to really sort of concentrate on the turnings, because there's quite a few turnings off the motorway. But I've got the map location set up for Sanasti office, and the reason I'm going is because, if you didn't know, is actually owned by quite a big YouTuber in Tenerife called The Night Strider, and to be honest, I want to meet him and I want to see if he'll come on one of my lives with me on TikTok and YouTube. Um, so I want to grab him and say, come on, let's do a little bit of uh, a collaboration and a few videos together. So you might be seeing a little bit of Andrew the Night Strider in my videos, fingers crossed. And another reason is I'm a nosy parker. You know me, I like to nose around, see what's going on. And I've seen him on YouTube and I want to go and have a nose, see what he's up to. So come on, let's go to the Sanasti office pay our wedge, pay for our car, and uh, hopefully meet Andrew. I hope he's there. Probably be somebody in the office, won't it? He'll be off He'll be off filming somewhere. Anyway, come on, we'll go and see. Right then, so I've found it. It's a nasty car here. Through here, look. Little garage, little garage and lock up. And this is where you come if you need the office or you need to pay like me. Here we are, look. It's got to be this place, hasn't it? There's a few cars here. Hello. Morning. All right. Ah, I was hoping you'd be here. Yeah. How are you? Good, it's really nice to meet you. Good to see you finally. Wow, Good look at this. TikToks. I know. Live streams. Uh, well, there you go, same here. So this is your little office then? It's our little cave down here, yeah. Wow, yeah. This, is where, this is where the magic happens. Look at that. Indeed. Yeah. Board full of bookings. Reservations and yeah. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Been well, look. For about 20 years. Really? 20 years? Yeah, a long time. No way. Yeah. No way. That is a long time. Well, look, I've had the car for a couple of days. Really happy. Everything's perfect, but I've come to pay. Okay. So uh, you need to sit me down, tell me what I'm doing. Um, I've got all the paperwork. So no, come on. Could you drop it back at the airport, yeah? Yeah, I'll drop it back at the airport. Okay. No worries. No problem. So you can pay cash or card at Sanasti. Card machine here, but. Mr. Travel on has got the readies, so. Cash is king. Cash is king. So if you've got the cash, get the cash out. Um, so we're gonna pay for the car now, and I've got, well, I've got a good few days left, so make sure to follow the channel. Um, this video was all about Sanasti car hire and car hire in general. I've given you loads of tips while I've been driving around. Um, and Andrew, is there any sort of main sort of tips for car hire in general, whether it be Tenerife or around the world? Anything that people need to just be aware of? Uh, make sure what level of insurance you're getting or make sure yeah. you know what deposit and stuff it is. But the main thing is parking all the time. Yeah. Every single, basically every day we have someone towed away or they've parked wrong. Or, really? Yeah. So just make sure to park. Make sure you know the parking rules. Yeah. You know where you can park. Yeah. Where you can park for free. Yeah. If you can't park for free, just go in those underground. They're not expensive, but yeah, parking, people get towed away all the time. Right. There you go. Make sure to park properly. Make sure to stay legal. Keep to the speed limits as well. And uh, and there you go. And make sure if you're coming to Tenerife to book your car with Sanasti Car Hire. I'm going to put all the links below. Um, honestly, super simple, really easy. And it's been an amazing service. And the car is, well, you've seen it. It's perfect. So from me, Mr. Travel On, it's goodbye. And from Sanasti Car Hire, or should we say the Night Strider on YouTube. There you Stride go. On. Stride on. <laughs> I'll see you later.